afternoon, everyone. My name is Joe Thatcher, and I'm with Midwest Military Equipment out of Washington, Missouri. My mirror's a recently finished up truck. Turned out really awesome. This one, we actually didn't build for a customer. I've been wanting to put this truck together for a long time. Uh, finally got the chassis in for the correct box, so that way everything's pretty much period correct. So behind me here is an 1152A1B2. So this has got the heavier suspension designed for the Frag 5 armor kit on it. Uh, this particular truck came to us in just a standard hardtop configuration. Uh, we added new windshield glass. We added the deep water forwarding intake. Uh, as you can see, we've replaced all the hood straps, hood bumpers. All the lighting on the whole vehicle is now truck light LED. Uh, we've replaced the hood bumper or the hood cushions and the hood cushion grommets. Uh, we completely repainted the whole exterior of the vehicle in this 686 tan with then the satin black accents. Really turned out awesome. The tires are a 37 1250 R16.5 BF Goodrich Baja TA. Uh, they look really, really good on this truck. One of my favorite combos is these are actually the 24 bolt, 24 bolt wheels. Some of the Humvees you'll see have 24 bolt close spacing. Some have 24 bolt distance spacing. As you can see, these are the close spacing wheels. So these are the heavier rated wheel. Uh, and then like on your older 998s and some 1123s, they have the 12 bolt wheels. This has our new manual window doors. So you can roll the window up and down just like a factory hard door. You can see we've changed the design a little bit. Uh, the factory track is very similar. However, we've added larger felt, better bumpers. Uh, and overall, it works with our stainless steel door handles. This has got our new updated weather stripping on the inside of it. The interior of this truck, we had a new sound deadening. We touched up the interior, but the interior is not repainted. That's how nice this truck was from the factory. It really shows very, very awesome. Um, you can see the seats are all original. We kind of wanted to keep the cool original military uh, theme going with this truck. So uh, being that this is an 1152A1, it does have factory air conditioning and heat, which is very, very nice. A lot of these Humvees have heat, but not air conditioning. Since this is a 1152A1, it's got that factory heat and AC. It's got a 4L ADE transmission. Uh, it's got the 6.5 liter turbo diesel engine. A lot of the earlier trucks were naturally aspirated. So that turbo diesel engine gives you a lot more power. Uh, the box that we put on it, so there was only, to my knowledge, about 10 to 15 of these. I, 15, I think, is being generous, has been ever released. Uh, these are a glitcher system or a gitcher system uh, shelter. So these, this particular shelter, you've probably seen a lot of like 250 shelters and stuff like that. This is still an aluminum closed cell insulated box. Uh, on the front, we've got air conditioning and heat. Uh, and then on the side here, we've got it slid out, which just obviously slides into the truck. But this is a Kubota four-cylinder diesel 10KW generator. Um, it's got auxiliary start switches in the cab and then start switches out here. But this thing, I think it has about an hour of runtime on it. We ran it through the shop, uh, made sure everything's functioning well on it. it. What's cool, too, is this is actually on a quick connect. So this is your NATO slave cable. That's how the box is getting its power when the generator is not running. That's plugged into the truck. So you can just unplug that, disconnect a fuel feed and a fuel return line, and then this is on rubber isolators. So this box isn't gonna move anywhere. You're on very nice rubber isolators. It's a proprietary system for this box mounting. Um, so you're able to take this box on and off. That's why it has the D-ring lifting shackles on the top. Uh, it's got side steps on the side of the box, which is awesome if you wanted to put a rooftop tent on it. Uh, the rooftop tent, you know, obviously we're not including a rooftop tent in the sale of this vehicle, but if it were going to be mine, that would definitely be something I was adding. If we walk around to the rear of the vehicle, uh, it's got a factory airlift bumper. Uh, this is a ladder to get in and out of it. Simply remove this strap, pull the ladder down. You're able to hook the ladder on these positions here. The cool thing, if you look on the inside of this box, this box, these, these trucks were never issued that these boxes came on. Um, this box originally came off of some trucks that were sold in 2015 that were part of a government contract and they were never issued to the United States military. So it's very cool, rare opportunities. You can see in the roof there, there's an escape hatch. Uh, that would, going back to my rooftop tent idea, you could easily integrate that into the escape hatch where you could walk from the inside of the box to the top of the roof, or if you wanted to get out and climb up the sides, you could be able to do so. The door, as you can see, is very, very robust. Uh, it's got a safety latch there, so the door will not swim close in the wind. Um, it's also got a nice strip curtain here, so if you want to leave that open, slide the curtain over, uh, be able to allow air into the cab or into the box itself. 
without necessarily having to close the door and tighten yourself down in there. Uh, the box does have a locking position where you can put a padlock on the outside of it, as you can see right here. And then going over to the rear of the vehicle, you can see we've got truck light LED lighting all the way around, all new light housings. Um, walking over to this side of the truck, uh, this is actually where you can hook up shore power to the box. So these are two large terminals here for shore power. And then this has got different generator settings. So you can do 120 volt, 220 volt, um, or you can run solely just off the gen set power. And you can see that generator, how it slides in and out of the back of the truck. On the driver's side of the vehicle, you can see we started with a very, very clean chassis. We waited a long time to put this box on a truck. And as we were saying, we did not repaint the interior. So that, that's, that's all original. You don't find too many of these trucks where all that looks as nice as what it does. Um, and you can see we finished our same finish on our doors here. We painted the insides of the doors green just to kind of match the interior. Uh, we did touch up the door jams just so that way everything flowed together very nicely. Left the stock ignition in it. We did not add a receiver hitch. So we wanted this truck to be as close to potentially museum quality as one could want. Uh, we also wanted to make it where somebody could use it. You know, there's a lot of accessories and options that we offer as a company that could easily be added to this truck, uh, but we didn't want to take away from one part or the other. So you're like, well, Joe, why doesn't this thing have a stereo in it? Well, you know, a lot of purists out there might not like the stereo. So we figured it would be smart not to add it. And those are always options that we could add after the customer purchases it. But just overall, really, really satisfied and happy with how this truck came out. This generator, it's an awesome setup. So this will actually just slide right back in here. And then it's got a nice cover that covers it up. So that'll slide in there. It's got safety detent pins here. Pins lock, unclip this, roll it down, secure that, you're ready to go. So we're gonna be pumping out a couple more Humvees. We've had a lot of requests, people. Why haven't you been doing Humvees in a while? Well, we do a lot of Humvee parts. We love building Humvees. We've built quite a few Humvees. Uh, and now we've decided, you know, we are our, our LMTVs and our Oshkosh pieces of equipment and our heavy equipment, um, you know, why not throw some Humvees in the mix? So here's an opportunity to own a very rare truck with a very cool, unique box on it. Uh, feel free to check us out online at MidwestMilitaryEquipment.com or give us a call at 636-900-9046. Thanks for watching.